one of the biggest findings in social psych it, psychology is um, cycle aggression, which is just retaliation aggression, one aggression after another after another after another, until either one dies or one gives up. So, ought you really to be aggressive to the aggressor? Is that really going to solve anything? I mean, they suggest these things, but do they really solve anything? My, my, I think they don't. I think they're just offering you, well, here's something. And you're like, great, now what do I do with it? There's no practicality to it. Um, another cool thing is testosterone levels and dominance, which is really cool. They put, uh, they measure testosterone levels and serotonin levels and put um, a monkey who is in high power behind a one-way mirror and his subordinates on the other side of the mirror. He could see them, but they couldn't see him. So when they didn't display, these guys didn't display their submissive uh, postures or whatever, his testosterone and serotonin levels dropped. Very clever study with a one-way mirror. Um, and there are other links, too. They believe that self-esteem is linked to perceived inclusiveness in a group, which they did find. So people with high self-esteem uh, view themselves as part of the group, people with low self-esteem out of the group. Very interesting, because self-esteem, as we know, is related to other constructs, such as narcissism, and outgoingness, I believe, and you know, like some good traits. And uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that's it for now, because I really don't want to post any more videos. I think there's like four or five here. Uh, chew on that for a while. Let me know what you think. If you don't want to let me know what you think, that's okay too. And uh, so long. Adios.